Hi guys, it's generic. Every time, every time, Down Hour Productions is first. Every time but one, you've been first. <laughs> I'm gonna give people a minute to get in here. I have a ton of Halloween stuff. We just went to Disneyland. I have stuff from Target, Hot Topic, Spirit Halloween Store, Michael's. I kind of went nuts. Um, and it seems like about half the people watch my channel for all my Pez and Disney um, stuff and decorating. And then half of them watch it for tips on coding, which is two totally different groups. That's kind of funny, but um, I keep getting asked for more of these. And, you know, I can only do them when I buy things and I can only buy things when I can afford them and find things I like. So that's what we're going to do today. What have you been doing on this fine Labor Day, Down Hour Productions? I hear you're working with a new production company. I won't say more, but, oh, it's so hot in here. Just gonna turn down the air really fast, because like, it's really hot. Despite the Halloween things, don't be fooled. It's, I don't even know what it is outside, 106. Happy Halloween. But we're early. The stores have been doing it for a month, so. Taking a nap and eating pizza. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I think I'm going to watch Hocus Pocus later because I'm sick of the heat and I decided I'm just doing like all out Halloween. All right, so let me put these down. Like I said, I have I have some lounge flies in the back that I've had, but I also have two. It's so hard to do this backwards. I think I would be good at this by now being a teacher. Um, I have two new lounge flies, one over here, the Pumpkin Mickey, which is actually from last Halloween. We can look at those first. And then the new Dr. Facilier Lenticular, which is so cool, and it glows in the dark. So we're going to look at those first. But the other ones in the back I've had, if you want to see any of those lounge flies, stick around to the end and I'll do it. But since those ones are not new, I was just kind of putting them there to prop up the pillows and for decor because I wanted to get them out to display them. So let me start with the lounge fly bag. The second one is coming out on the 30th. You're right, sorry, I just saw your post. Um, so I was never huge into Hocus Pocus. I didn't see it when it first came out in the theater because yes, I'm that old, I was born then. Um, and then I saw it at some point, like maybe 10 years ago or so, and I loved it. And now I have two other people at work who really want to be the Sanderson sisters with me. Um, so they're having me be Sarah, which is kind of odd because I'm a brunette, but I got a wig. So um, at work, I'm going to be one of the Sanderson sisters. So I kind of have to like get back into the hocus pocus kind of vibe. In fact, sorry, I'll get the lounge while I'm talking. Um, Lounge flies. There are two of them that are new. Um, in fact, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific, I believe, um, Lounge Fly is launching new Hocus Pocus bags, a Binks Lounge Fly backpack that has the Sanderson sisters flying in the background. Um, and Binks is fuzzy and he's the pocket. A Binks crossbody bag, which is the cat from Hocus Pocus, if you don't know. And. Danny, the girl who's in Hocus Pocus, um, a cosplay, like it looks like her outfit, her dress on the backpack. And then it's so stinking cute. Binks is in the front pocket and he can pop out like his little cat head. And he's more cartoon like the other ones are more kind of realistic looking. Okay. And my shirt is not new. It is a Pirates of the Caribbean shirt that I've probably shown on a previous live. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. So here are the two new lounge flies that I got that are kind of Halloween, and this one's not necessarily Halloween. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry, I thought my mic was messed up. Hold on one sec. Okay. So here is, can you guys actually hear me? Do you mind putting it in the chat? Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna fix it. Can you guys still hear me?
Okay. You said yeah. You can. Okay. Now I'm going to have to edit that whole huge thing out, but my mic says it's like on mute and it's blinking, but if you guys are saying you can hear me, we're going to leave it. Okay. So anyway, Mickey Lounge Fly, um, he opens, he is a crossbody bag. He opens by opening his head, kind of gross, but you can open him like this. You can see the inside. He's got some little Mickey spider webs, some bats, some little Mickey jack-o'-lanterns. His eyes glow in the dark, and he, of course, has a strap inside to wear him as crossbody. So, like a purse, if you don't do a lot of shots. Um, he's deceivingly big. You can actually fit quite a lot of candy in him. I think I'm going to use it as a candy bucket. I mean, I know as an adult, it's a bit odd to, like, go trick-or-treating. Um, but I think I'm still going to use him and put candy in him and, or whatever, and take him around on Halloween. So there's that, and then and thank you guys for telling me about the mic because I don't know what the deal is with the cord. Um, and then we have this one, which is the one I was going to show you, which is Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog. If you've never seen that, Tiana is that princess. The back is actually my favorite. It has this, they call it a little back hit. It's neon of Dr. Facilier and the neon straps with the pink hardware and the black. And then pink loop, really nice pink and purple stripe for the zipper. His face glows, his um, skull and crossbones glow. And then these are lenticular. So let's see, yeah, you can kind of see it, right? So there are the three tarot cards. And then when you turn it, it just shows you as if it's the back of the tarot cards. So one way it's the front of the tarot cards or scenes from the movie, same difference really. And then if you turn it the other way, you can see the front of the tarot cards. Oh, and the inside. Somebody always asks, so I will show you. Oh, this one's gonna be really hard to see. So it's a dark purple on black. Hopefully you can see it, of Dr. Facilier in some little design, uh, diamonds that are like designed, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. They look like New Orleans style gates, I guess is the best description I can give. They're really ornate around the diamonds. Okay, so there's those. And then, like I said, if you want to see my other lounge flies that I've already had, I will, sorry, I guess I'll put those down. Um, I will show them at the end. Move my mic a little actually. You guys don't have to be staring at it. Well, whatever. Um, and then here's a ton of other stuff. So here's why I did this. I'm doing our living room Mickey pumpkins about it's been a while now, 15 years ago maybe. Disneyland had Mickey pumpkins for the first time that I'd ever seen them before they used to do, it might even have been 20 years ago now. Before they used to do a big huge thing for Halloween. Um, and had like the Mickey pumpkin up and the, the, well, they have like some decor on Main Street, but they didn't do Mickey, um, like Oogie Boogie Nights or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween or any of that nighttime stuff. Um, they had a few Halloween things still, and it was Mickey's in these little ceramic jars, very similar to this. And they were shaped like a pumpkin, a bat, and a ghost. And I got those. Maybe I'll show those on a future one. Maybe I'll do like a decorate with me or whatever. And since then, they've been doing lots of them, but they haven't ever gone back to the originals. They have plaid ears, they have different faces, it's painted and glows in the dark. This is the first year in a really long time. Like, in fact, these are last year's ears, and you see how they have, like, the vines on the ears. So they're different, um, even though the face is the same as this one. I really wanted more and wished I had bought them um, all those years ago. So this is the first year where they have, this is... A little ceramic it opens at the top you can put a little votive candle in the back so it's just a little ceramic candle holder this is from let's see it is kind of crazy that they're putting up I just read your chat um, it's kind of crazy that they're putting up the Halloween decorations I think they do it for this reason one I mean 
profit. They want to stretch out the season and get in as many people as they can, but also because they do the Oogie Boogie nights and they've been so popular, they usually sell out within the first few days of being on sale. Some nights sell out within minutes, like the ones closest to Halloween in the beginning of the season. And so Disney World apparently started doing Halloween stuff and having the Halloween decorations up in August this year, which is really nuts. Um, because it all comes down right after Halloween, because then they go right into Christmas. So I think the second, yeah, September 2nd. So I was at Disneyland on like the 29th, 30th, 31st, first in there. Um, and there was stuff up, but not everything. And they didn't do like, they didn't have the Halloween treats in the like cafes and stuff, and they didn't have the Halloween parade or the Halloween fireworks or anything, whereas starting on September 2nd, they did. So it was like the day after we left, but that's fine. But they did have out some of the merch. I wish I had left the sticker on here. I actually thought it was not inexpensive, but inexpensive considering it was at Disneyland and it's ceramic. Um, and it's a nice, good, thick ceramic too. I want to say it was $29.99. It was it was definitely that or less, if I remember correctly. Um, and I mean, if you've been to Disneyland lately, things can be so crazy. A lot of their pins are twenty four ninety nine, like a pin that goes on your shirt. So to have a whole big ceramic thing. Um, then I got some things. Well, I don't really want to bounce around. Let me show you the Disneyland stuff first. So the other things I got at Disneyland, at the actual park, I got not totally related to Halloween some new pirate ears to go with this shirt and a pirate lounge fly that I really want to get. I haven't gotten it yet. It has the dog in one of the final scenes of Pirates of the Caribbean where he's holding the key and there are three prisoners trying to bribe him with the bone to come over and bring them the key. Um, I'm not big on gold. I'm really pale. Gold kind of washes me out a little bit, but I never see pirate ears that I like. These are the best ones I've ever seen. Like they're still not amazing, but since Pirates is my favorite ride, I went ahead and got them. And then I also got this bowl from Disneyland, which we'll have to talk about for a second because there's a crazy story that goes with it. Sorry, I hear my chair all the way around. This pillow and these two shirts. Oh, actually, I see a couple other little non Halloween things too. Um, so this pillow is kind of funny and the bowl. So I saw a man walk by with this bowl. And again, for Disney prices, it was $39.99. And it's obviously huge, ceramic, painted Mickey in his little funky Mickey costume. Um, and $40, like if I saw this at Target, I would expect it to be almost that much. So the fact that it was at Disneyland at $39.99 kind of surprised me, especially considering how much this pillow was in a minute. You would think a pillow would be like five bucks and this would be 40, 40, 50. So I saw the ceramic bowl. Somebody was walking by with it. I was like, oh, hey, where did you get that? He said, oh, it's the last one. It was over there. And there was another guy also looking for it. Long story short, some employees went in the back. They said, oh, we know we have some more, which was strange because the entire time I was at Disneyland, there were no other bowls of these out, although they said they had quite a few in the back. So I don't know why. Maybe they weren't supposed to put them out yet or something. In any case, it took them quite a long time. I ended up kind of befriending the other guy looking for the bowl and his girlfriend. Um, and we started talking about Disney and Halloween things and stuff. And we kind of ended up hanging out for like 20 minutes. But in the process, I mentioned how I really wanted this pillow, which originally was attached to a ghost Mickey pillow, a Mickey that had a like orange Mickey pumpkin ears on his head. So it was a ghost and the Mickey was on his head. I don't know if that really makes sense. You can look it up on Shop Disney if you want. Anyway, I only wanted this one. I didn't really want the other one. I have a perfect place to put this one and I wanted it. But... I did not want to pay $45.99 when I only wanted one of the pillows. Like, that's kind of nuts. And it says Happy Halloween on the back. So his girlfriend tells me, oh, well, she only wants the ghost one. So by the time they brought the bowls back out, we had these. We bought them, split the price. I Venmoed her for mine. And here we go. Now I just have my Mickey pumpkin. But it actually comes from Shop Disney or Disneyland um, or Disney World, I'm sure, for $44.99 with a white ghost with an orange Mickey, like Mickey ears on his head. Actually, I don't know if they have any pumpkins in them. They may just be orange Mickey ears now that I think about it. I don't know. Let me look it up if you're interested. 
And then the other stuff that's actually from Disneyland, I kind of want nuts, guys. I guess you can tell that. Right? Um, in a previous haul, I got, there are a bunch of these that are Disney World, but since I'm a big Disneyland person and we stayed at the Grand Californian this time, which that might have to be, I should have logged it for you guys. That might have to be another story, how I was able to stay there for less than half price. It was pretty amazing. Um, I haven't stayed there. It's been quite a while. I've stayed there, I think, three times before, maybe four, one of which being my wedding. So there's a little Mickey um, and Minnie inside there in kind of almost their safari outfits from Animal Kingdom. Not quite, but almost. And it's the Grand Californian ornament that they had in the gift shop there. I didn't see it anywhere else on property. And then in Batu, actually I take that back, I did not get this in Batu. I got this um, from Star Trader in Tomorrowland. Um, this is just a little R2-D2 that I wanted to use as a bag pull on my Grogu lounge fly. And we were lucky enough to get into Ogos at the last minute. Not in the walk up, I just checked the morning of and I got two of these for two friends of mine that are um, big Star Wars fans. We left the rest because we used them for our drinks and they were wet. But um, These are from Ogus Cantina. Ogus Cantina is awesome, by the way, and you do not have to be 21. Okay. I'm saying this mainly for Down Hour Productions because I know they're interested. Ogus Cantina is so awesome. They have alcoholic drinks and non-alcoholic drinks. Unfortunately, the best drink they have there is alcoholic and they don't make it non-alcoholic, but it has foam. It's called a fuzzy tauntaun and it has foam on the top from buzz, buzz beans, buzz buttons, something like that. Um, and it makes your mouth go, go numb and they sometimes can't get them. So then they can't sell them. Um, but it's so awesome. Like to take the foam and it, it's, it's like aura gel. If you've ever used aura gel, which is what you use for babies when they're teething, to numb their mouth, it's like using a, quite a lot of aura gel, but don't do that because it's technically a medicine. Um, and I have not made a saber in Batu. I've been with someone when they made a saber. So my husband has made one. He and my daughter went in together and made his. Next trip, my daughter went in and I went in with her when she made hers. Um, I, I mean, I love Star Wars, but I'm not as big into Star Wars as they are. And I would almost rather have one of the fighting sabers that you can get. Um, there's a company here in the town where we live that does really awesome ones that you can actually like battle with without them breaking. I would almost rather spend the money on that, but I spent my money on this, obviously, because, yeah. <laughs> so I have not made one. I probably will eventually, though. All right. So the living room is going to be all... Mickey pumpkins and ghosts and bats, but they're difficult to get. Like I said, I only got the two like 10 or 15, no, 15, 20 years ago. But the pumpkins are readily available right now if you're interested in like the pumpkin stuff and not just at Disneyland. So, oh, I forgot to show you my shirts. They're from Disneyland, I'll show you in a minute. So I got this, let me save the box for you guys. It comes in this gigantic box, but it looks like this, just so you know, if you buy it online. I got this from Hot Topic. I got it online. I had to pre-order it. I don't know if it's still available. Um, it wasn't too terribly expensive. I think it was 20, let's see what it says, 24.90. But if you know anything about Hot Topic, they constantly have deals. You should, blah, 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 blah. you should pretty much never pay full price for Hot Topic. Um, so I don't know if it'll still be around by the time Hot Cash is available, but I got, I think 25 or 30% off. And this one does not have um, cutouts because it is actually a sealed candy jar where it's got like a little rubbery seal so you can put stuff in there and have it not smell up your whole house or attract critters or anything. So I got that, except it has pumpkin ears as opposed to this one, which is this year's style at the parks that does not have pumpkin ears. You can kind of see the difference. And like I said, these are the ones from years ago or very similar, you know. And see how their mouth is a little different, their eyes are a little different. Hey, more people are getting here. Hey, how are you? We're showing off my obnoxiously large amount of 
Mickey pumpkin things that I just bought at Disneyland. And that one was from Hot Topic. I got one other thing from Hot Topic. Our dining room is normally um, Adventureland themed, mostly the Tiki Room. And I mean, completely Adventureland themed, like the pictures that are on the walls. We have some little Tiki cups. I can show you guys at some point if you want. Well, I decided this year that I'm going to completely transform all the decor. I know that sounds expensive, but I'm making some of it. Um, to Haunted Mansion for Halloween. So these are also from Hot Topic. They're so freaking cool. Look at that. It's this giant tapestry and it has all four of them. So there's the one and here's all the other three of the stretching room portraits. So if you've been to, well, if you're watching my channel, you've probably been to Disneyland. Um, if you've been to Disneyland or maybe Disney World at least, you know in the beginning at Disneyland, you go into the second room and it's the stretching room. It's actually an elevator. It's, spoiler alert, sorry an elevator taking you down a level into the Haunted Mansion because you actually have to go under the train tracks to get to the ride itself. You're outside the berm, they call it, which is like where the train tracks are. So the mansion in the front is not really a facade, but the majority of the actual ride building is behind that and behind um, the railroad tracks and the berm. So you have to go down in the elevator to go over. And then if you notice when you're in the ride, you go back up right? And then ride around. And then when you leave the ride, you have to go up that people mover where on your left hand side, there's the little hologram saying, hurry back, hurry back. So that's you going back up to get out. So in any case, when you're going down, these portraits start off short. So they start off kind of like this. And then as you go down in the elevator, well, it would make help if I do it the right way. It stretches and then you see the peril below. This one, she's about to, you know, fall into the alligators. There's some other ones where it's a guy standing on two other guys' shoulders and they're in quicksand. One of them's standing on, uh, he has no pants on. And he's standing on a barrel of dynamite. You get the idea. At Disney World, they also have the stretching room, but it's not really an elevator taking you anywhere. They just stretch the top up so that you can see the pictures. Um, and then you're on the same floor when you go into the ride. Okay. okay. The other things I got at Disneyland quickly, Pixar ball, uh, keychain that I'm going to use as a bag pull for my Pixar lounge fly. This, which if you know me, I show Zootopia to my students usually when we do the section on animation, the internet animation. And I found this very like late 80s, early 90s style. It very much reminds me of Miami Vice, if you've ever seen that show, especially the font and the colors of Nick Wilde. And it says it's called The Hustle Sweetheart. So I got that. And a very, very obnoxious, but I love it. Halloween button down shirt to wear to work. This is the print this year. They have it on PJs, on hoodies, on all kinds of stuff, but this is the all over button down. It's intended to be a men's button down. I mean, really, it's a button down. Who cares? But if you never knew, buttons go on one side for men and the other side for women's, and it's technically based on where the buttons are. It's a men's shirt. It fit just fine, though. I just bought a large so that the top would be okay. And it has somewhere. I'm gonna show you the ghost that looks like the pillow that comes with the uh, pumpkin that I didn't get, but I can't find it. And it has Mickey with his like worried, his little worried pumpkin costume that he's wearing inside there. It kind of like combines all the different products into that one print. And then last, I think actually last from Disneyland. Yeah, nope, wrong again. <laughs> This was also from the parks. It's available on Shop Disney, but it's not available on Shop Disney. It's sold out all the stinking time. It completely matches in style and colors and everything, the Haunted Mansion stuff from Hot Topic. So I got the 
long tapestries from there and the pillow from here. And it can also be reversed with the wallpaper print, which is the same as that lounge fly over there, which I got in a previous year. But I got this. You know, someone's going to ask. This is why the, the YouTube vloggers that go to the park and like look at all the merch I always have to say in case you're interested. $34.99 if you're interested. Although I got this from Shop Disney and I think it was also, I know I got free shipping. I take that back. It sold out. I got it at Disneyland. I did get something from Shop Disney, um, but it was not that. And it was because that sold out, as did the PJs that I wanted. Okay, this really is the last thing from Disneyland. I told you I kind of went crazy. <laughs> this is from, when it lights up, although you probably won't be able to see it because I have that ring light on. Mm, not really. It does light up though. Um, this is from, oh, you can kind of tell. Can you guys tell at home? It lights up. There, now it's on. This is from the Electric Light Parade, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary. So they brought it back from Disney World just in time to take it away. They brought it back in like, I want to say April, May maybe, and it's gone already. It's done. Now they have Halloween, then they'll have Christmas, and there's no word as to whether they're going to bring it back. I personally think they're going to send it to Japan because it is their 40th anniversary next year, Tokyo. Disneyland, 40th, 50th, it's got to be 40th. Um, so yeah, and they also had the Elliot popcorn bucket, which I wanted to get, and then I'm like, I don't know, what am I going to do with these? I'm not a big sipper. This is a, a drink container, a sipper. There's a straw right here. You can maybe open. <laughs> you can tell I didn't drink out of it. Um, I don't get the popcorn buckets or the sippers. I just really didn't care for the merch that they came out with for the 50th anniversary of Small World. And I love, I mean, Small World, uh, the Electric Light Parade. I don't know why I keep saying Small World because it's like so cutesy and little kiddish, but the whole park is that way. Anyway, sipper. Okay. That really is it from Disneyland. I have some other random things I'll show you quickly. This is the thing I went and got today at the spirit store. I've never seen, and it's like, it's plastic, but it's a hard plastic. This is one of the two heads that are like the busts that are in the Disneyland Haunted Mansion. I've never seen them before like this at the spirit store. And they were $39.99, but if you sign up for their email list, you can get a 20% off any one item code, which is what I did with this. Um, in fact, they'll send you two, one you can use in person and one that you can use online. And I know they both work because I bought my Mary Sanderson, um, not being Mary, my Sarah Sanderson costume with the online code. And then I went in person to the store this morning and got this with the in-store code. So you can use them both. You get two 20% offs for signing up for their emails. Let's see on the spirit store thing. This, oh no, it's not. You're goofing, guys. It's because there's so much stuff. This is also from the Spirit Store. I just got it a different time when they first opened. Um, it's the Hitchhiking Ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. It's going to go in the dining room with my Haunted Mansion stuff. This is metal on a wood block. A lot of them were like not done very well right here and had a lot of. I mean, you're going to definitely have to search through to find one that's decent if you want to get it. Um, and this one has like a lot of wear, but I thought it just made it look older. So that was fine. At least I got ones where you can kind of read the text that says, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. And I got it to go with. I can't really get it, can I? This, which is from Michael's. Got all these bottles for a display. So this is that same kind of metal, and it looks like, to me, a Haunted Mansion style gate. And then I placed this faux, it's hard to tell, but it's kind of like a burgundy colored faux moss in the bottom. You can tell from the back it's moss. It's that stuff that the florists use. And I'm going to use these together to kind of give a Haunted Mansion matching vibe. 
if that makes sense. So these two are from Michael's, but this is from the spirit store. Since we're on the topic of the rest of the haunted mansion dining room stuff. This is from Amazon. It is probably not licensed. I try to only buy licensed stuff. I think that people should get the, you know, money for their intellectual property. It said it was, but it was also from some like random store that I'd never heard of on Amazon. So I'm not sure. It is a velvet. It's really nice, actually. Um, pillowcase. I have some Ikea pillows that are the, this exact size that are normally just in red to match the living room. So I'm going to yank one of those out of the red case and put it in this to put in the dining room. We have like a little wooden bench thing, I don't know, a little sitting area in the dining room. So that's where that's going to go. Along with this, which is also from Amazon. I got a bunch of these little bottles, some at Michael's and some at I think it's actually from Home Goods. These are also from Michaels. They're velvety. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I was going to put them in the living room, but now that I'm doing all the orange Mickey stuff, I'll probably just put them up in my classroom or save them for Thanksgiving. Along with these, which are also the same velvety kind of pumpkins. They're a little more Thanksgiving-y. I mean, if my living room is going to look like a cartoon, I might as well <laughs> save them for Thanksgiving. This is a table runner, though. From a different shop on Amazon. It's huge. It's it's a good quality as far as like sturdiness goes. I'll try to link some of this stuff down below for you guys after the live. It's kind of plasticky on the back though. Um, it reminds me of blackout curtains, that material. So I'm not sure how well it's going to wash, but it matches that pillowcase exactly and the back of the stretching room portrait pillow. So that's going on the middle of the table. Along with like I said, the bottles, this hand, which is from Michael's. A little poison warning. Stay alert. At home, that's where this is from. It's from the at home store. As is this. $2.99, which I thought wasn't so bad for a big glass. Skull bottle, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's actually a red glass. They also have it in clear or black. I don't know, a bunch of other colors. I thought maybe if I showed you this, you'd be able to tell it was red, but not really. This I got from Michaels that I am painting and doing stuff with. My daughter actually got one as well to use as a gift box for her friend um, for his birthday present, because they're that way. <laughs> I don't want to like say their names, but if you know, you know. Another little jar that I'm going to put like little big buggy science experiments in. This, which is again, goes more with the velvety stuff. So probably for Thanksgiving, it lights up though. Three ninety nine, and it lights up. I thought that wasn't bad. A little bottle with a bat, also from at home, which was $4.99. And these, which were $4.99, that I'm going to use in the Haunted Mansion dining room. I don't want to do too much tombstone type stuff. I want it to actually look like you're in the Haunted Mansion, not the cemetery. But of course, it's going to lend itself to that a little bit. And now we're to the awesome stuff. OK, this I already had. But it was from Amazon. I had it already last year. Also, don't know if it's licensed. It says it is, of course, it may not be. But this, oh, now you can see all my lounge flies I already had. My bat. We'll talk about them at the end. This, you have to see this, I have to turn it on, is from Target. But I'm modifying it. I'm going to do a little DIY. So it's got hands on either side. It's very heavy, although this is not glass. You can actually push on it. It's a plastic, which kind of worries me as far as storage goes. But if you push the try me button or the actual buttons, it has like this white, you can see it, this white slurps, swirly, foggy stuff, which does eventually settle if you stop moving it around. And it changes colors. I'm going to make it into a Madame Leota crystal ball. Is that awesome? Somebody in the chat tell me how awesome this is, because I spent $25 on <laughs> it. 
I usually spend, I usually take like a hundred dollars for Halloween and a hundred dollars for Christmas to buy decor, which I realize is kind of a lot, but I don't care if I get anything for Christmas. I'd much rather have cool decor and I've slowly been adding. When we get to Christmas, I'll show you. I'm turning the outside of my house into a giant gingerbread house. Um, but this year I also used all my Disney vacation money for Disney Halloween stuff. And a quarter of my hundred dollars obviously went to this. So thank you for telling me it's really cool. So yeah, I think it's pretty neat. It's way cooler in person. So here's what I'm gonna do now that I paid this money for it, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm gonna take off the bone hands, even though they look kind of cool. I'm gonna cut them down here, like even with this part. And then I'm gonna paint the bottom of the bone hands so you can't quite tell what they were as much and it looks more just like detailing that goes with all this. And then I'm going to paint them black and then I'm gonna use a silver paint that I also already have to kind of do the most sticking out parts. <laughs> um, so that the relief is black and the top part is silver so that hopefully this part blends in and matches a little better and looks like Madame Leota's ball from uh, Home Mansion. It won't have her face in it. I thought about taking it all apart and like trying to project her face in it, but I think I will ruin it. Cause it's only 25 bucks. So it's like nice, but it's not made that well. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Kind of weird that I paid five bucks to buy this hand. And now I'm gonna cut the hands that are cut the same off. Whatever. Whatever, man, whatever. All right. I had only intended for this to be like 20 minutes, half hour, and we're already at 36 minutes. Um, I will save the lives like I usually do. If you want to see my Halloween lounge flies, I said I would show them, and so I will. Or my Halloween slash haunted mansion ones. Um, really quickly, I'm not gonna like open them all up and stuff. Otherwise, I will see you guys. Maybe someday I'll do like a entire lounge fly collection video. You know in the comments if you guys want me to do that like usually people who do those have 200 of them whereas i have like 30 ish but a lot of them are halloween can you tell me like Halloween? all right so if you're sticking around i assume it's for lunch wise this is from coco which since it's got you know kind of a dia de los muertos theme it is the flags it actually opens like this it's a purse um, there was a dress that I really wanted to get with it that sold out of my size almost instantly and I've yet to be able to find for less than $250. So I only have the purse and it's been years, but whatever. I still like it. So it looks like the little paper flags. And then there's the strap. I also have Halloween Mickey. This is from LA Style, which is a website that sells lounge flies and other stuff. But their patent leather or faux leather, vegan leather. Um, his face glows in the dark. This is from them. They do still have some available. They restocked some recently. Um, if you're interested in that one, I also have glow in the dark zero. There are two different glow in the dark zero bags. One that has a light up orange nose. I actually saw that one at the, um, Oogie Boogie Nights last year. I didn't really like it because the orange makes his entire face glow. So like kind of orange, which is weird. But then they released this one. I like the ears better. And instead of having a glowing nose with a light inside it, it glows in the dark. So this is the more recent one that you can still get. That glows in the dark. That's the Mickey Pumpkin mini backpack from last year. Face and all the faces on the little Mickey Pumpkins glow in the dark. That one on the far end we're gonna jump to is, I call it my summer haunted mansion bag because it's not as Halloween-y, but it's still haunted mansion, um, is the bag that, although I have used it, it and two other bags and a bunch of other stuff are in my giveaway. So if you wanna ask your friends to subscribe, that would be awesome because as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers so that I can do mobile live, um, while I'm at Disneyland and other places, um, I'm doing a giveaway and we're giving away that bag that's on the end, as well as the Main Street bag. People get a choice. Like, we're not giving, it's not just one prize, like, there'll be a bunch of prizes, and whoever wins first gets their choice, and second gets their choice, and this Tiki Room bag, as well as 
all those things I love. So there's some pop figures that are Disney. There's a ton of Pez dispensers, some of which are like collectible gift box um, sets of Pez. There's a bunch of nail polish from little indie brands. It's just all the kind of stuff that I like. So I've been getting extras for you guys for when I get to a thousand subs and we can do the giveaway. And speaking of giveaways, the bag next to it is the Haunted Mansion wall paper. It's kind of hard to see. Let me grab it for you. Because it's such a dark print. I won this from Sweet Wheels, a different YouTuber. So go, if you like lounge flies, go check out Sweet Wheels. She's awesome. She um, goes religiously to box lunch and sometimes Hot Topic as well to check out their new lounge flies. And she always explains like the dates for releases and stuff. And I won this from her. So it's not only awesome, but special. And I won it for answering um, a question about her, like, I guess paying attention on her channel. So we laughed, like, of course the teacher won because I pay attention during the lecture. And then this is my Hatbox Ghost bag, which really does not show up on camera. So if you've gone to Disneyland, you may know about the Hatbox Ghost. The Hatbox Ghost was something that was in the Haunted Mansion, not even for a year, I think. The special effects didn't work very well. They took it out. People had been asking for 40 years or something after that for it to get returned. Now with new technology, they put it back in. So it's been back in since um, the park was closed for COVID in 2020. And this is the bag that they made kind of in honor of that, I guess. So it has this little dangly lenticular hat box ghost. And then this is the strap that's in the bottom and you can see him through it. Just that part's kind of hard to get on camera through the plastic. But you could also hang something else from that hook if you really wanted or hang in from the outside. It's a very large bag of holes. So, and I actually got this before the Disney stores closed on clearance. If you didn't know, almost every Disney store in the U.S. is closed. They close them for online. Now you can, if you don't go to a park, or I think there's one in New York, that's pretty much it. Although they're adding them in Japan. I don't get that. I guess in Japan, maybe they like buying things in person more than we do here, or the overhead was cheaper, although I can't imagine that's it. I know land is expensive there, so. Okay, that was a lot of Halloween stuff. And it's only September. And I know I'm ridiculous. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will put this up after the live. Um, because I know that there are people who weren't able to come that wanted to. And if you have questions about where I bought anything, put them down in the comments or anything else. I will keep an eye on them. I will try to post some of it. I tried to say some of it as I went. But the things that have been around longer, like the Hatbox Ghost, Loungefly, um, or my really old Mickey Pumpkin stuff, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to link. But otherwise, I tried to say where it was and I will try to link them, especially the Amazon stuff. That should be pretty easy to do. You guys have anything else you wanna say before we go? I have the best subscribers ever. That's what I wanna say. And I like chatting with you guys. All right, I will see you guys. I only do about once a month because you know I got a real job, but I'm gonna do a decorate with me for Halloween because people keep asking me to. So I will try to get that up pretty soon and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.